while the majority of the Queen's titles will be passed down to Prince Charles after her death, there is no such assurance for the role of head of the Commonwealth. The Queen designated the 53 member states as the Commonwealth of Nations shortly after her coronation, noting that many of the members had become independent of the British Empire and the monarchy. Now as it stands there is no formal replacement in line to take over the leadership of the Commonwealth after the Queen, and any new head will require the support of member states. And it is feared that when Prince Charles takes the throne he could be left out in the cold damaging his long-awaited reign. Related articles Prince Harry carves out future royal role with new Commonwealth job Queen breaks birthday tradition with Commonwealth bash. Writing in The Spectator Journalist and Margaret Thatcher biographer Charles Moore recommended the prince to take a modest approach to the Commonwealth when he is crowned king. Mr. Moore said, the Commonwealth could have no head at all just a secretariat, and a rotation of countries in the chair. If supporters of Prince Charles overplay his hand, this could quite easily happen. Any strong feeling that he was pushing for the role, or that his appointment might be controversial, could kill it, monarchs have to be a focus of unity or they aren't worth the trouble. If the prince were rejected for the post, this would be sad in itself, and would also damage his standing though not his legitimacy as king. Last year it was reported Prince Charles would eventually step into the role but the Commonwealth Secretariat insisted last week a decision would only be taken on the Queen's successor after the death of the 91-year-old monarch. Mr. Moore said, no process exists among the 53 Commonwealth countries of today which says that Prince Charles will definitely be its head. Indeed, there is no process to appoint any head. The present queen was acclaimed head in succession to her father, and was proclaimed as such at the moment of her accession, but no law says this has to happen next time. He added, while it would be fun for the Foreign and Commonwealth Secretary, that's Boris, to make one of his witty speeches celebrating our common heritage and trying to weaponize it in commercial and international affairs, it would almost certainly backfire. We cannot have imperial preference without empire, and which of the 53 countries wants that? The best thing Prince Charles can say to the Commonwealth, privately, is I'm here to help if you want me. The British government should be similarly modest. Her Majesty is expected to break with tradition for her 92nd birthday celebrations with a huge world music concert attended by a host of Commonwealth leaders that will be broadcast on television. The Queen's April birthdays are usually a quiet affair and publicly celebrated in June with trooping the color dot but this year unusual and ambitious plans have been arranged to mark the end of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, CHOM, in London, expected to be her last. The event has been penciled in for April 21st at the iconic London venue, and will be shown on the BBC. A source told the Sunday Telegraph, it is going to be a mix of Commonwealth music off the back of Chum. The content has not yet been decided. It is thought to be the only time in the Queen's reign when she has done anything on her birthday, which makes it unique. It will be superb. Related articles The Queen honors Britain's first astronaut Helen Sharman The Queen and Kate's daily routines revealed the Queen and the President's royal meetings from Truman to Obama.